It, it started with my uncle, my great uncle actually. And uh, I had been out here on this farm since I was a little youngster. Uh, my dad, he would come here and they would swap out back and forth chopping silage because they had a chopper and we didn't. So they would come out to our house and chop silage when I was a little fella. So I've always been on this farm, but then I guess when I got up to age to where I decided I wanted to do something with farming, this is where I gravitated to and it, and it, was, it, was, it was an easy thing for me to do. My grandparents, Derry, um, so I, I was familiar with the operation and I have to say my, my best childhood <coughs> memories were spent on the farm down at their house with my cousins and stuff. So, and I, I wasn't in objection to it. I knew, I just felt like there were great possibilities for raising a family on a farm. Sheila and I both ended up at the University of Kentucky. And when I was up there, and I also had a job at UPS, I put my way through school. So that progressed along with my education and I ended up in a supervisory position. So my future was bright with uh, United Parcel, but there was just too much concrete to suit me. I couldn't live with it. I mean, I, I, every day, that's all I thought about was coming back to the farm. And then when I come back here, it's like everything else. It didn't happen immediately. So I ended up at public work here, but at the same time, I was farming on the side and I was building up to the point where I could make it here. And one thing led to another. We started buying land. We bought an adjacent farm that was 60 acres. We bought it together. And then later on, I acquired that. And then we, I bought this 30 track where the dairy's at. And then um, that's kind of, that's how we ended up here. <laughs>